Hey guys, it's Fast Cats, and I'm here today to show you how to use Voodoo. It's a click to heal add on that I don't know, I've just found really, really useful for many, many years now, and I'm so glad it's in Classic. I've helped a lot of people set it up out of the box with mostly, you know, picture guides, but they're all pretty outdated, and I thought it was maybe time that I just do a short little video to show people how to set up the very basics of it. So the idea behind Voodoo is that you can hover over panels of character names and click on them in different ways to heal people. So you can left click to cast one spell, right click to cast something else, shift left click to cast something, wheel up to cast a different spell, blah blah etc. It's really really handy because there is no clicking on other players and then clicking spells on your bar or clicking on other players and you know using keybinds. It's just it streamlines it kind of like a bunch of really extensive mouse over macros. But of course the add-on does most of the work for you so you don't have to spend 500 hours setting it up. So when you first download Voodoo, you're going to get this like horrible little panel conglomerate mess in the background. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull the group one away from the rest. Keep it out of the way. And next we're going to get rid of these two panels here. They're, they take up space. I've never used the buff watch part of the add-on. Um, you can look into that if you want to. I don't really remember a whole bunch about it. I just think it takes up space and looks bad. So you're going to find this little blood elf head on your minimap and you're going to right click it. And then you're going to uncheck show buff watch. Right? Easy. Then you're going to left click it and it pulls up this huge screen. You're going to click on move down here. And as you can see, it gave you all kinds of stuff. But what I'm going to have you do is just ch check these little boxes here to remove those panels and hit OK. All right, excellent. Now all you have is, oops, all you have is this. When you're in a group of five, there will be five boxes like this here. They'll all look pretty much the same. Um, it always shows everybody's mana. I use Voodoo on my tanks. I use Voodoo on my mage. Um, it's just too easy to decurse people or um, see who has threat. A little red line appears around the box on who has threat. Um, and, you know, it helps you keep an eye on your healer's mana without having to look over here. Um, I don't know. I just have always really, really loved this add-on. And so I'm going to show you how to set it up super fast. You're going to left-click this head. And you're gonna, it's just going to pull this back up. But go to the spells tab down here. And you're going to be able to type your spells in. Now, Voodoo has some defaults in there, but you are welcome to change them. Um, typically, I think the spells that are put in there are like some of the basic ones that you would be using pretty early in the game. So in this case, the default left and right clicks are um, healing touch and rejuvenation. So if you left click your healing touch, and if you right click, You'll use Rejuve. And you'll even get this little hot thing here to keep an eye on it. So it helps you know who has it up and who doesn't. Alright. So. The issue with using just the name of the spell is that it will always use the highest rank. In this case, it's going to use Healing Touch rank 2. Which. Oop. Where's that tooltip? Which is. 2.0 cast time as you can see here but healing touch rank 1 is a 1.5 cast time and let's say we for some reason want to use rank 1 only down ranking becomes useful at certain points in the game with certain types of gear and if you type it in like this it will use rank 1 okay so, just so that you see this 100%, the H, the parentheses, the R, there's no space here. And it kind of lights up a little when it's a correct, when it's something that you have. And the same with Rejuve, I can put rank 1 in there, 
we're leaving it blank just or just the name we'll always use the highest rank possible so let's say we want to do mark of the wild we want to bind that to a key now it's not a heal but sometimes a convenient spell is useful too for example all of my characters shift right click to dispel my mage does this my all healers do it that way no matter what healer i'm on i always know what my dispel is i love it so you'll end up coming up with these keybinds that make sense to you in your head just kind of the way that you know these make sense in my head like g for growl i've always used that for my taunt because g for growl and here's the best part i never even started with a druid tank so i don't know where i got it but in my mind it makes perfect sense Whenever I have a tank, G is taunt. So, and the same can be applied here. Maybe no matter what character you're on, shift left click is going to be your big main buff. In this case, Mark of the Wild. And we always want to buff with our max rank, right? Let's X that off first. Okay. Boom. And that was a shift left click. Right click. Left click. Shift left click. So, that's pretty much how you set up Voodoo. And you can do a mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, with the no modifier key, or shift mouse wheel up, shift mouse wheel down. There's just so many options for keybinds here that you'll never run out of space. And you can downrank your spells to your heart's content. Who knows, maybe your, your no modifier is your top rank, and then shift left click is you know a lower rank that you like to use a lot and then control left click is yet another rank of that same spell that you use third most often whatever makes sense to you whatever works for you the real trick to voodoo is memorizing the keybinds that you choose because there are so many combinations you know when you got shift you know, control shift alt left click as an option, you know, it might be hard to memorize all these different choices that you've selected. So I definitely suggest coming up with something that makes sense in your head and then, and then just clicking on it over and over and over. Invite somebody to your party, a friend or something maybe, and just, you know, practice clicking on their name with different stuff. Do this a little while, it'll make healing just so much easier for you so much less complicated trust me it's definitely worth doing and like i said it only takes a couple minutes to set up all you have to do is open your spell book and look at the spells that you use most often and cast on other people particularly people in your party and go with that now with something like say a soul stone for a warlock i don't think i would ever put that on voodoo i feel like it's a spell you use so rarely that your best option is to click on somebody and then use it. Just to make sure that you don't accidentally put it on the wrong person. Um, just like Lay on Hands in retail is your big huge emergency heal. In classic it drains all of your remaining mana so you might not want to use it on accident. <laughs> On the wrong or on the wrong person so you know because it has such a long cooldown so you might not want to bind it or if you do you want to make it a really complicated key bind so that you don't accidentally press it but for the most part i think um i think that should set you up for a while and as far as like hots go um say you click renew and it doesn't show up on here you can set it up under um panels hot icons and then these little things you, you can pick um, say this number one is going to appear in the top left corner of the panel number three is going to appear in the bottom left panel so for example if one is rejuve then three could be um, regrowth which is not showing here because probably because I actually you know don't have regrowth but if I did you know I could select it from the list and then when I regrowth I so I see a little rejuve here and a little regrowth down here and you can change the size of them 
by sliding up or down. And I do like them to be big because then I, you know, then I can see them. I know, I know exactly who's got it on it, who doesn't need any more healing anytime soon, etc. and so on. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I know it's pretty clumsily put together. I don't really have a video editor. I don't make videos for a living, certainly. But um, I just wanted to put a little thing out there that might make it a little bit easier for people to throw together voodoo really quick and get practicing because the quicker you get practicing the better you get at it and the better healer you will be for your group and I know how awesome it is to like come in clutch with the heels and just absolutely decimate when um when you thought there was going to be a wipe it's such a good feeling and I get that a lot using this add-on because I can heal through things that I couldn't heal through otherwise either because I just don't have the reaction time that I did when I was 12 <laughs> Or, um, you know, I, I just, I, my brain just blanks. But once I've got stuff memorized, it's just a breeze to just keep healing. So something else useful, just a tiny little tip. I highly suggest setting it up on DPS characters too. Especially DPS characters that um, are perfectly capable of healing in a clutch situation. There is nothing more awkward than your healer dying for some reason, and then the paladin for some reason just can't keep people alive for two minutes. There's no reason why you couldn't jump in there as a paladin and just start healing, or a shaman, or whatever, a druid healer. Um, if your healer goes down and you're a DPS class that can heal, having voodoo set up is a lifesaver. And, you know, it does a few other little things, too. Like, you can keep an eye on your healer's mana. If you're a tank, it shows a little red line around the box to show who has threat. There's all kinds of neat things that it does. And so I highly recommend just playing with it and uh, seeing how you like it. And, of course, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll see if I can help. All right, guys, have a good day.